what I have got to announce is that I'm signing on with Collingwood until the end of 2020. It wasn't until, yeah, halfway through the year when we really started, or well, myself sitting down with my manager and having that chat about, okay, what does the next um, three years look like for me? Where do I want to play my football? Where do I want to live? Obviously, um, I love the football club. I love playing here. I, I feel really at home um, at Collingwood. It's taken me probably the first five years to really, you know, this is my fifth year. It's taken probably that much to start to really call this place um, home and I bought a house here in Melbourne and I'm living with Tim Broomhead and uh, my partner Rachel and got a little dog too so really starting to, to um, put things together outside of football um, here in Melbourne and um, if I was to uplift that right now I feel like I, I, would, I, I wasn't really ready to, to do that. So I bought him to Grundy and then Grundy running long and hard and kicking him out. Goal. At the end of my first year, I played in the final against Port, and that was basically the last final that we had played. And even before I was drafted to Collingwood, it was this massive powerhouse. And the reality is that, you know, if we're being quite honest with ourselves, and I think we need to be, is that we've, we've probably fallen off the perch. And so it's a part of this next group of, of guys coming coming through to, to put us back where we belong. And, you know, we're, I'm really ambitious and really eager to, to see where this group can go and there is a sense of urgency about being in this business and it certainly is a business and um, if you're not up to the standard you get you know, found out pretty quickly so a part of my job is to up, uphold sort of my standards um, on and off the field and I also want to you know, grow into helping my teammates get better too and you know, when I sit here and sort of reflect about the first sort of five years I look at other other players, guys like Jake Stringer, you know, most importantly, Jake Stringer's um, premiership is something that really drives me, especially because they're, they're my age. So I look at them and I feel pretty jealous. So I'm really, um, yeah, I'm really keen to, to get um, that feeling for the group. Go with all of those stats as well. Oh, Grundy to Pendlebury. Yeah, I sit down with Scott Burns and I look at, last year I looked at Todd Goldstein, Max Gorn, um, Nick Nat. I was looking at their output during the seasons. You know, I'm always comparing myself to those types of players and I think that's really helped me um, to get to where I am today. And along with self-belief, I have a really good sort of self-belief in, in what I'm able to do and um, I have my support network to thank for that. It's not until you actually put that block of work in year after year to not get any reward, it's pretty disappointing and to be quite frank, that's not what we're here for. We're here to be a success. I know that I've still got a lot of growth in my game and, and maturing mentally as a footballer but also as a professional athlete and a lot of the guys on our list have extreme talent but it's actually about harnessing that and um, we're all sort of on that journey together and I think to be able to have those conversations, those honest um, conversations, we talk about that um, on game day and stuff like that and giving people feedback, but I think creating an environment where we can be open and honest with each other outside of the game, I think will in turn, you know, we'll build some more genuine connection with each other and that will lead into to a better connection on game day.